For a lot of Counter-Strike investors, including me, investing in CSGO items has always felt risky and a bit of a gamble. This was the case until I learned more about skin collections, which got dropped for a very limited amount of time specifically during operations. Very expensive skins such as the AWP Gungnir, the AK-47 Wild Lotus, the AWP Prince and many more were the result of a collection being released for a short period of time and then getting discontinued. Most of these collections have been very stable investments and have rarely been subject to massive drops in price. The reason that these collections are relatively stable is because they have a lifespan of a few months until the operation is discontinued and the supply of these skins from the game completely dries up. A slight exception to this is from the previous operation when you could simply buy the covert item with 100 stars. It makes sense that the 2021 train collection is less expensive and desirable than the other three collections. It is clear to see why operation skin collections are so special. If you compare these collections to the most recently released Anubis collection, you can see that in 3 weeks time already more M4A4 Eye of Horuses got unboxed and traded up to than AWP Gungnirs exist which got released 3.5 years ago. I think it will be interesting to see if a new operation will be released together with Counter-Strike 2 this summer and if Valve decides to have a similar setup to the skins as in previous operations. If this is the case, I can highly recommend to consider investing into this. But remember to also do your own research. See you next time.